Today in the news, we got some Intel explanations, Twitter vindication, and we enter the matrix. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. So now that Arc Alchemist has been announced, Intel basically is letting some of their engineers and executive trickle down some information to, well, us. During their presentation a couple of days ago, they unveiled a lot of specs related to their laptop GPUs, but some of those specs were pretty confusing, or at least they deserved to be explored a little more. Well, a couple of days later, and this is what we got from Tom Peterson, Intel's Graphic Innovation Fellow. So the slide that I'm talking about specifically is this one. I was confused as to what exactly that clock speed was. I knew it wasn't the boost clock since we've seen Arc GPUs like this A350M boost all the way up to 2200 megahertz a couple of times, even before it was announced. And as is, a 30 watt GPU would for sure not have the same boost clock or game clock as a 50 watt CPU with the same configuration. So exactly what are those clocks? Well, you can think of them as the absolute minimum boost clock the GPU you can achieve if it's in a TDP constrained environment. It's the average clock in the TDP constrained worst case. So across all of the chips in the bin, like we have these big, big collections of chips that we build our products out of, out of all of those chips, this is the slowest chip and it's in the worst thermal environment. And that way we can say everybody's clocks are going to be this or higher basically. Now, um, it's difficult to look at that. It's not really a base clock, like in the sense of NVIDIA's base clock. It's more like a boost clock, but not exactly the same. That's why I say these clocks are not really comparable across vendors. I mean, AMD, who knows what AMD's clocks are? Who knows what NVIDIA's clocks are? So basically, it's the base clock. I should have said that from the beginning. Oh, and also during that live stream, Tom let it slip that he has a desktop version of an Alchemist GPU. I, I think the team that's worked <clears> on this has done a terrific job and I'm excited to see this. I'm hoping to get one over here really soon. You know, right now I've got a, a different one. Not that I don't like it, but I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for a change. <laughs> lift, lift, lift it up, <laughs> lift, lift up the card. No, I can't, but oh, can I show you this? Oh, well, we better go solo here. What oh, can you oh, show us? Oh, I can't show you. Can't. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how, about, how about this? I can't show you. Okay. <laughs> No, I, I can't uh, show you that. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> it has three very well spaced 8 pin connectors, and well, yeah, that's it. It's more likely to be a prototype than a different version of the actual GPU. Moving on in social media news, it looks like things are shaking up at Twitter. First, Elon Musk bought almost 10% stake in the uh, company, 9.2% to be exact. Then he swiftly got appointed to the board of directors of the company, and now we're getting an edit button apparently. Damn, things move fast when Elon's involved. Now, honestly, the uh, edit button has been a long time coming, and I mean, everybody's been waiting for one for a long time. It's not like it's a brand new technology. YouTube and Facebook both have been doing it for the longest time, and they've been doing it right. They let people edit posts and comments and make it clear that it was edited. Uh, you can even see the original posts most of the time. I don't know why Twitter has been so reluctant to add it, but I'm glad that they will. It will be available to Twitter Blue users, so you'll have to shell out some cash to try out the feature, but I believe that it will trickle down to us mortals in the future. Then in gaming news, we got Epic Games. The company just released the official version of Unreal Engine 5 for PC. And with it, they're giving you access to the Matrix Awakens demo for PC. Previously, it was only available for Xbox Series S and X and PS5. But I mean, we all know that PC is the superior gaming experience. Anyways, the demo is there as, well, a demo project. So just without Neo and Cortana. So sorry, Trinity. And guess what? We're going into the matrix right now. All right, so after what? I think it took me six hours to download this. It's a 200 gigabyte file if you count um, the actual Unreal Engine thing. And on top of that, the city level, which is the matrix map. So let's go ahead and click on play to play this level. Wow. I think I broke the matrix. Am I? What? What is going on here? All right, let me load. Let me uh, load that level. 
you go to content drawer and then map big city level let's go ahead and load that matrix level oh oh it's doing something okay does that look oh okay there's no there's nothing yet can i go what if i play the simulation play the play the level let's go ahead and play the level did it crash again update my drivers again I mean look at it chugging along 96% memory I'm guessing I would just have to wait like half an hour <gasps> wait what's that Nvidia needs to be rebuilt no nav mesh what what's happening what is this why am I of course yes oh yes this is the matrix oh of course the buildings the the paper paper dog yeah, the paper thin dog. Yeah, no floors. It's extremely, uh, extremely bad frame rate. People with suitcases walking over the sea. Windows. Is there ray tracing? Let me see if I got ray tracing here. <gasps> I can see myself. Is that ray tracing? Oh, I can drive it. Hold on. See. Oh, boys, we're driving over water. All right, let's go. How far? How fast can we go? Our building's going to stop me. That's a good question. Oh, oh, I saw the car for a second. It's a van. Good. Okay. I know I'm driving a van and there's a wall here or a post. No wheels. It's a hover car. Okay. I'm done with this. Take care guys. Bye. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you want to talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see Liz's video right here to enter a matrix. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.